But none of these things move me, nor do I count my life dear to myself, so that I may finish my race with joy and the ministry which I received from the Lord Jesus to testify to the gospel of the grace of God. Acts chapter 20, verse 24. Paul was given ministry by the grace of God. I became a minister according to the gift of the grace of God given to me. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 7. To put it another way, he received his ministry from the Lord. The ministry which I received from the Lord Jesus. Paul's bountiful ministry was developed by the grace of God. I labored more abundantly than they all. Yet not I, but the grace of God, which was with me. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 10. Also, his ministry was to declare God's grace, to testify to the gospel of the grace of God. Paul's life demonstrates that such grace-saturated service leads to courageous, selfless ministry. Paul's ministry was courageous, but none of these things moved me. The things that Paul faced were formidable. The Holy Spirit testifies in every city, saying that chains and tribulations await me. Acts chapter 20 verse 23. Down through the centuries, matters less substantial than these have moved many a professing Christian from completing his calling. Yet by leaning upon the sustaining grace of God, Paul courageously endured great hardship and danger in the service of the gospel of grace. But in all things we commend ourselves as ministers of God in much patience, in tribulations, in needs, in distresses, in stripes, in imprisonments, in tumults, in labors, in sleeplessness, in fastings. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 4-5 through five. Related to this courageous service, Paul's selflessness nor do I count my life dear to myself. Paul's ministry was not motivated by self-interest. Rather, it was motivated by the blessings that others could receive and ultimately the glory that the Lord would receive. Paul was content to have his service be no more than a spiritual enhancement to the godly service of others. Yes, and if I am being poured out as a drink offering on the sacrifice and service of your faith, I am glad and rejoice with you all. Philippians chapter 2, verse 17. Even more, Paul served for the honor of the Lord Jesus. According to my earnest expectation and hope that in nothing I shall be ashamed, but with all boldness, as always, so now also Christ will be magnified in my body, whether by life or by death. Philippians chapter 2, verse 20. Such renouncing of self allowed Paul to finish his race with joy. Thus final testimony would become, I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 7. Let's pray. Jesus, our Lord and Master, you know the things that threaten to move us away from your calling for us. You know the times we are tempted to hold our lives dear, wanting to shrink back in a self-serving manner. Please saturate our lives with your grace that we might serve courageously and selflessly. Amen. God bless and carry on.